Welcome to the second part of the lesson on writing linear functions in slope-intercept form. In this part, we'll find our equations using tables and graphs. In this example, we're asked to give the equation of the linear function that would generate the following table of values. So we'll find the equation in slope-intercept form where m is equal to the slope and b is equal to the vertical intercept. So we'll find the equation in the form y equals mx plus b first, and then because it asks for a function, we'll substitute f of x for y. So this table of values gives us several ordered pairs that would satisfy our linear equation. These also would be coordinates of points that would be on the line. So what we can do is select two ordered pairs. Let's use these two here. Find the slope of the line using our slope formula then perform substitution to find b. So let's first find the slope. So we'll use the ordered pair negative one comma 110 and the ordered pair one comma 46. For our slope formula, let's call this x sub one comma y sub one and x sub two comma y sub two. So the slope is equal to y sub two minus y sub one, that's 46 minus 110 divided by x sub two minus x sub one, that would be one minus negative one. Simplifying, we have negative 64 divided by, this becomes one plus one or two, which equals negative 32. So now we know the slope is equal to negative 32, which means the equation must be in the form of y equals negative 32x plus b, or again, b is a vertical intercept. And now we'll find the vertical intercept b by selecting one of the ordered pairs, which we know satisfies the equation, perform substitution, and then solve for b. So we can use any of the ordered pairs here in the table. Let's go ahead and use this ordered pair here. So using the ordered pair one comma 46, we'll substitute one for x and 46 for y. So we'd have 46 equals negative 32 times one plus b. So we have 46 equals negative 32 plus b. Notice how if we add 32 to both sides, we have b equals 78. And now we have all the information we need. We know the slope is equal to negative 32, and we know the vertical intercept is equal to 78. So again, we know m. So again, if m equals negative 32 and b equals 78, our linear equation would be y equals negative 32x plus 78, but it does ask for a function, so we'll write this as f of x equals negative 32x plus 78. This would be our linear function that generates the following table. Now we are asked to check this on the graphing calculator, so let's quickly do that. We'll press y equals and render a function, so we have y1 equals negative 32x plus 78. Now we'll use the table feature to check this, but let's first press second window and make sure that the independent variable is set to ask. So we want to have the ask highlighted. Now we'll press second graph for the table. Now I've already done this, but I've entered all the x values or the inputs and notice how the function values or outputs do match our table. And I entered these one by one, I just entered negative five, enter, negative three, enter, and as I enter the x values, it generates the y value. And now for the next question, we're asked to give the equation of the linear function using the line graphed here. So we'll determine two points on this line and use those coordinates to determine the equation of our line in sloped intercept form. So notice how this point here is the vertical intercept with coordinates zero comma five. And now we can also determine the horizontal intercept here that we do have to be careful. The horizontal axis is not scaled by one, so notice how this is negative two, so this would be negative one, and therefore it's scaled by halves. So the coordinates to this point would be negative 2.5 comma zero. Let's go ahead and write these over here. We have negative 2.5 comma zero, and we have zero comma five. Well, because this point here is a vertical intercept, we know that b is equal to five, Again, b is the vertical intercept. And now we can find the slope using our slope formula. 
let's call these the ones, x sub one, y sub one, and these the twos, x sub two, y sub two. So the slope is equal to y sub two minus y sub one, that's five minus zero. x sub two minus x sub one would be zero minus negative 2.5. Simplifying, we have five divided by zero plus 2.5, or 2.5. Five divided by 2.5 is two. So now we have all the information we need to write our linear function. We know the slope is equal to two, and b equals five. So our equation is y equals two x plus five. But again, we're asked for a linear function, so we'll write f of x equals two x plus five. Now in example four, we want to give the equation of the horizontal line passing through the point one comma three. Let's first graph this line. So here's the point one comma three, and therefore this would be the horizontal line. Now there's a quick easy way to determine the equation of a horizontal line as well as a vertical line. The equation of a horizontal line passing through the point x sub one comma y sub one will always be y equals y sub one. So notice the given point has a y coordinate of positive three, which means the equation of this line is y equals three. But let's try to understand why this is the equation of the line. And there are a couple of ways to explain this. First, we know that the coordinates of this point are one comma three. If we take a look at the coordinates of several other points, we'll notice a pattern. For example, this point here would be three comma three. This point would be five comma three. Moving to the left, this would be negative one comma three, and here we'd have negative three comma three. Notice for every point on this line, the y coordinate is three, and this is the reason why the equation of this line is y equals three. Yet another way to determine the equation of this line is to recognize that a horizontal line has a slope of zero. So if we know the slope is zero, using slope intercept form, we know the equation of the line must be y equals zero x plus b. We know zero times x would be zero, so the equation would be y equals b. And then from here we normally perform substitution using a given point. For example, here using the point one comma three, we substitute one for x and three for y. Well, there's no x, there's only y, so we substitute three for y we would get three equals b. So if we know the slope is zero and the vertical intercept is three, we could also find the equation as y equals zero times x plus three, which once again gives us y equals three. So there are several ways to explain why the equation of a horizontal line. For number five, we're asked to give the equation of a vertical line passing through the point one comma three. Let's first graph it. So we have the same point, one comma three, but the line is vertical. This would be the graph of our line. So notice how here, this is not a function because it fails the vertical line test, but we can still determine the equation of this line. So again, this is the point, one comma three. The quickest way to determine the equation of this line is to remember that the equation of a vertical line passing through the point x sub one comma y sub one will always be x equals x sub one. So notice here, the x coordinate is positive one, and therefore the equation of this vertical line is x equals one. Now we can't use slope intercept form for this equation because remember the slope of this line is undefined. But we can analyze the coordinates again to recognize the pattern. Notice how this would be the point one comma one, this would be the point one comma negative one, this would be one comma negative three and so on. Notice every point on this line would have an x coordinate of positive one, and this is why the equation of this line is x equals one. I hope you found this helpful.